Hi everyone, it's Emma from House Pro here and in today's video we'll learn how you can impress your clients with professional estimates that you can create in just minutes. When you create an estimate from within a project, you can choose to create it from scratch, upload a document external to House Pro or create an estimate from a template you've already created from within the software. In today's video, we'll create one from scratch. At the top of the document, you'll see general info, which is all pre-populated based on your company details and your client information on the project. You can edit these details by clicking the edit button in the top right hand corner, and you can also set a due date by clicking on due by and adding in a custom date. You can scroll down and click on the blue add items button and click on from parts list to add items that have already been added into your library. Simply look at your categories and click into the subcategories to add the items that you're after. You can click on individual items or you can click on the entire category to add them all in at once. Once you've added all of your items, click on the X icon in the top right hand corner of your pop-up to exit out of your library. You can easily customise how your estimate appears. By clicking the settings icon next to add items, you can customise if images and the description is shown with each line item within the document. Once you've toggled these on and off, simply click on OK to lock in those changes. You can also customise the order of your items. Simply click on the item, click on the six dots and drag your item to the desired order. To remove items, simply tick on the items you'd wish to remove and in the top right hand corner, click on remove items. Once you're happy with the order of all of your line items, simply come in and change any details from your quantity, costs, even your markup of per line item or overall of your document. Below our line items, we've got our payment schedules. So you can come in here and request multiple payment schedules for your document. You can request a deposit of a certain amount, being in dollar or even percentage. And you can give it a custom due date as well. Once you create it, it'll have a new payment schedule entered in here and you can create as many as you'd like for the remaining amount of your document. Below that we've got our files. So here you can click on upload files to browse photos and PDFs and any kind of attachment that you want to upload to your document. Once you've added them as attachments, they'll appear as so and you can click on the three dots to rename it, to download that file or to remove it as an attachment from your document. Below that you've got your terms and conditions and your memos. So here they've been set up via templates, but if you'd like, you can come in and start customizing by formatting this message like you would so that next time you go to create them based on your templates, they'd already be set up and ready to go. Below that you've got your signature. So this is the option for you to set up an electronic signature so when your client goes ahead and submits their approval, they do have to e-sign it which will be locked on the document and recorded for your bookkeeping. At the very top of your document in the top right hand corner, you've got your more actions. So this allows you to approve or decline the document on the client's behalf. Once a document has been approved, you'll be able to create an invoice or variation order. You can create purchase orders. You've even got the option of duplicating and editing your estimate and saving it as a template. So that way next time you go to create a document, you've already got this layout ready to go. Thank you for watching.